Hello everyone, Wise Guy here, and this is not episode 10 of Logistic Pipe Tutorials. Um, as you can see in my inventory here, I've been trying to learn bees. Um, I had a request to do uh, stuff with the bees and the bee drone terminus modules, the bee sync modules, analyzer modules, analyzer pipe, bee sync pipe, etc. And guys, I apologize, I've never done anything with bees, so I really don't know enough about it. Um, you can see that I tried some different stuff here. I don't even know what's going on here exactly. I think these need impregnated frames or something. Um, I know very, very little about bees. But I did want to cover the couple things I did figure out while I was here. Um, so this over here is nothing. This was just a first test that I did. Now I found out that the apiary refiller module, which is crafted like this, pollen, two redstone, two propolis, and a wooden transport pipe, with a blank module up here and then honey on the side of your carpenter, will give you your apiary refiller module. And that wooden pipe gives you a hint, it does pump items out of a chest. So here's an apiary's pipe, and these unknown items here are not being pulled out, but if they're actually known bees, they will get pulled out by the apiary refiller. So that's kind of cool. Um, I put a bee analyzer pipe or module here, and I was seeing if they would pull out the unanalyzed bees, but they just don't seem to be doing that for me. So I'm not really sure what I need to do to get those to come out. I think I might have to manually do some of this still, because logistic pipes were never designed for um, automation necessarily. It was just more the excess bees to uh, get rid of them and sort them out. So a bee analyzer module is three redstone, four propolis, and an iron gear or iron chipset. You get your blank module here, and that makes your bee analyzer. Now I don't know exactly what that module's for, but instead, we have the bee analyzer logistic pipe, which I was able to figure out. The bee analyzer logistic pipe does not have an interface. However, you can place it down on an analyzer like this. And that's crafted like this. Um, you take a basic logistic pipe instead of a blank module, basically, and it's the same recipe. Four propolis, an iron gear, or an iron chipset, and three redstone. And basically what this does is all unanalyzed bees that are in your network will get sent here. So I had a chest set up there with a quick sort module on, and basically I was just fleeting, flooding them into here, and they would automatically get sorted here. Now how do you actually pull them out of an apiary? I haven't been able to figure that out exactly yet. Um, it might have to do with the analyzer module like I was trying to figure out, or something like that, but it wasn't working for me. Um, so if you guys know, please let me know. Uh, the next thing here that I'm showing is the drone terminus module. This is going to be four black dye, or uh, excuse me, two purple and four, or two black, pollen, three red stone, your blank module, and you get a drone terminus. Now I do know for this one, um, any drones that are don't have anywhere to go, so let's say they've already been analyzed, your chest is full, or you don't have anywhere for them to sync to, will get terminated to this module. So I connected it to an aviary, or excuse me, an apiary, thinking that my drones would automatically get put here. Um, I also have unknown drones and princesses here that haven't been piped out. So what I tried to do is put the bee analyzer module here to see if that would work. It didn't do anything for me. Um, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is for now. I think you need like an extraction module maybe to pull those bees out and then they'll come out of the network. So let's go ahead and try that instead. Let's get an extraction module. And again, guys, I am learning this right now. I don't know uh, that much about it. But if you do know some more than I do, I would really appreciate the assistance in figuring everything out. So I put this extraction module. Let's put that on the side. And let's see if any bees come out. It looks like these are all staying here right now. So it has no queen. So nothing's going on with the extraction module either when I put it on side. Let's try bottom. It's not working. Let's try top. And finally we'll try the side. So none of those are pulling out. You might need an apiary pipe or an uh, apiarist pipe or I forgot how to see it. I believe it's apiarist pipe. This one here. You might need that to uh, make the system work. So we'll go ahead and try that real quick. Break that flower, put this pipe down, not there, put it down there. Alrighty, so now we got this whole mess here, and you guys know how this works, so 
if you know bees, you know how you can change those settings around. So that might be how that works a little bit more. And again, guys, I'm sorry I don't know um, as much about bees to be able to help you with this. But I'm just going to leave that piece on, and we'll see what happens. I'm going to leave that as it is, set to anything, I guess. And we'll put these at wintry. Here we go. Anything. Okay, so guys, if you're used to the apiaris pipe, this is actually how the next pipe works, which is going to be the B-Sync logistic pipes. Now, these are actually crafted by taking a basic logistic pipe and honey, and you're going to take four propolis and four redstone. And these are actually pretty cool. I was able to figure those out a little bit better. So this interface looks very confusing at first, but it's actually very similar to the apiaris pipe that we were just looking at. Now, you can set any conditions that you want on here, and you can right-click to go backwards, left click to go forward, and basically these color groupings here are just that. Um, if I put that I need princesses that are purebred wintry, and I put red for both of them, this is going to look for only princesses that are wintry and purebred because they're in the same grouping. Now if this had no group, then it will look for princesses that are wintry or princesses that are purebred, or purebred wintry, and then the ones that are purebred wintry have to also be drones that are wintry. So this is how that setup works, and again guys, I'm not as familiar with bees, but hopefully this makes a little bit of sense to you. Um, I know it's not the, uh, the best tutorial per se, but I did want to go over these modules and just kind of how the interfaces work, and hopefully that will give you some insight on it. Now I think that pretty much covers the B pipes and um, modules, and again, I understand that it wasn't very helpful here, guys. Uh, the one thing I can say is that unanalyzed bees that are pumped into the network do get sent to the research module here. So we'll go ahead and do that again real quick. And we'll see what happens when this finishes where these bees go. I believe they'll go to the apiary pet chest here because we have an apiary refiller but they might go straight over to the B-Sync pipe that I have on that side, which is more likely what they'll do. We'll step on this side when it's done. It should be done in a second. And where does our B go? Okay, so our B did go right over here because it did meet the conditions. Um, it's purebred and it's wintry, so it went this way. Now we did just have a B go over here as well just had a drone go here. The reason why is we have that drone terminus. So it doesn't have anywhere for that drone to go because it didn't meet the condition of this B-Sync. So it sent it down the terminus path instead. You can see it just sent some more over here as well. So here's some more wintry drones. And it's sending those this way. Now I believe the apiary pipe is actually pulling more out. Possibly the bee analyzer is. So let's pull one of those out. And we'll put a apiary refiller on here and see what happens with that. Because this is interesting now that we know more about this. So we have wintry drones here. And let me just manually put a princess here so they can breed. This quickly fills up the bar on the left. Now it's a wintry queen and we'll see what happens. Drones no longer have a place to go. We had too many drones over here because this is already a queen with extra drones here, so we'll pick up the extras that we have, and um, we'll just kind of see how that goes, guys. So hopefully, like I said, just kind of going over those interfaces helped a little bit. I was able to figure out the analyzer pipe, the apiary refiller module in a way, um, and the items, or excuse me, the B-Sync in a way, but I know it wasn't perfect, guys, so I apologize for that. Um, if you do have questions, let me know. I'll definitely do what I can. I know that the guys on GitHub are working really hard to uh, try to make this a little bit better and a little bit more intuitive. One thing I can say, guys, is that um, logistic pipes were never made to automate bees. They were made to sort excess bees, and that's something that the um, current dev that's working on this, David Boki, the main dev on it, has said. Um, I know that uh, there's a couple other guys, again, that are on the GitHub that are working hard and trying to make some modules that will work out well to make bees a little bit more intuitive with logistic pipes. But um, right now there's just not a lot of information on it, guys. So if you do have insight, please let me know. I'd love to make a video on it. For now, again, I'm not going to call this episode 10 necessarily. I just wanted to go over what I was able to find, and I'll make sure that's in the title as well. Uh, one last thing, we talked about barrels last episode, and I was talking about how you can extract from barrels as well. So if I get that extractor module I had earlier, 
So you can use an extractor module on here, set to bottom, and it will pull dirt out of this chest. Now you can see it's pulling dirt out one at a time. And let me go ahead and move this pipe here so you can see it without the provider module, because I am sending some pieces through there. And I don't want you to think that it's the provider module that's sending this through. So every once in a while you'll see that this is taking a, a piece out with the extractor module. And just to make it a little bit faster, I'm going to make an extractor mark 3 instead. Extractor mark 3. On an advanced extractor, regular extractor. Alright, so you can set this to bottom. And bottom you can see all that dirt that just poured out. Um, it actually pulled out the entire barrel's worth of dirt. So, not that you would ever want to extract everything out of your barrel because you wouldn't know what barrel it was for anymore. But if you did for some reason, um, again, you can use an extractor pipe. It just needs, or excuse me, an extractor module. It just needs to be on the uh, setting to um, the bottom of the barrel. There you go. I just put it there and it pulled right back out. So, just something to keep in mind, guys. Um, I would definitely use a provider on the sides or bottom instead because that way you can uh, keep one item in there. You can also use a provider module, which I uh, believe I showed you last episode. We'll just leave this on the first stack, and we'll put some more dirt in there. And that supplier is keeping the recycler full, and we're still pumping out scrap. That's pretty cool, guys. Look at that automation setup. Not too bad if I do say so myself. There we go. All that excess dirt is getting poured in here. The rest is going in here. And I guess one thing I can say to you guys that I didn't mention is um, I would definitely upgrade your recyclers so you don't have issues here. If you get overclockers, and um, let's just put uh, seven of them in there, you can see that this is going way fast and you're not going to get an, uh, excess of, an excess of pipes there. So I can't put 64 there because we need a um, transformer upgrade at that point. But um, anyway guys, that's just kind of the idea here of what you would need to do to be able to um, handle everything here. So hopefully um, someone can give me some insight to bees and uh, how this whole setup is supposed to work. But for now, um, I was able to at least figure out the research part of it, uh, figure out a little bit about the modules and um, just really need some help and insight on these for the rest of it, guys. So please leave some comments and let me figure out uh, how this all works, and I will be happy to do a video for you. In the meantime, guys, I hope you have a good one, and uh, have a Merry Christmas as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.